Good morning. Welcome to another beautiful day in the island of Bali. The sun rises here very early in the morning, around 6.15, 6.20 a.m. So the sun's really well up in the sky, even though it's still pretty early and we woke up not long ago. So today's video, we're going to show you a day in the life of an early retired couple in the beautiful island of Bali. And this is our villa. And let's go. Every day since we've been here, we've been eating out every single meal so this morning we thought hey why not stay in and cook something so today i am cooking indomie goreng with some eggs hey indomie mi goreng i'm doing the best i can with limited utensils and of course the utensils aren't the best not like home so I'm still frying the noodles and I'm going to add the garnishing. Looks kind of good, huh? Very simple breakfast with the boiled eggs. You know, I'm a lucky guy because Frank can cook so well, especially after our two years as hawkers. It doesn't matter which part of the world that we are at, she can take any local produce and turn it into a fantastic dish. This trip to Bali is very different than our previous times here. Usually our trips are four to five days long and jam-packed with activities. There's usually no time to enjoy our place accommodation nor use the facilities. We find that mornings are the best times to get our creative juices going. Productivity is sky high and we usually get our best ideas in the mornings. And it really helps to be in a peaceful environment like Bali. Sitting by the pool listening to the sound of water is a perfect way to get some inner work done in the form of journaling. Our grab cars here, we are off to our favourite supermarket to grab some groceries. Welcome to Pepito's. We love shopping at Pepito's because they have a wide selection of produce and they are very fresh. They import high quality produce and whatever you need is available here. Hi, we're here for lunch. So this is a typical warung and we love it because it's very clean and the food is excellent. So this is not our first time here and we really love it for a nice hearty lunch. They have a wide range of local dishes, all very tasty. This shop is popular with the expats and locals. What a yummy lunch! I can't wait to dig in! This local warung is really amazing. Since we've been here a few times, we noticed there are a lot of expats, especially digital nomads who come over here for lunches and also have discussions. After lunch, we decided to go to this cafe which is situated right next to a paddy field and it was a perfect spot for some journaling. It had a swimming pool and there were scarecrows and it was just such a peaceful place. It's an amazing experience to be in the middle of a paddy field and having coffee and looking at all the greenery out there. You cannot come to Bali and not go to a beach. Here we are at a beautiful beach club in the Changu area and we're here to meet a dear friend of ours who happens to be in Bali at the same time for some drinks and a long-awaited catch-up. Bali being a spiritual haven led us to have some amazing heartwarming conversations with each other. Getting around via motorbike is one of the fastest and cheapest way to travel in Bali. We decided to hop onto a grab bike to our next destination. Here we are at another beach. We spent the remainder of the afternoon hanging out at the beach. I wanted some me time to finish up on my book and John is busy doing something else. And that's John going surfing! It 
is a blessing and a privilege to be able to spend the day at the beach on a weekday, watching the dogs play, watching horses pass by, and watching the waves. Fran and I love our quiet time in the evenings to just sit back, relax, and admire what nature has in store for us. After having a great time surfing the wave and enjoying the sunset, I'm hungry. It's time to devour some pork ribs. Let's go! There are several famous pork rib joints in Bali. This particular joint, Wahaha, is one of the ones that locals go to and we wanted to try it out. It's all mine, all mine. Look at that. In our other videos, we always end our day with watching some Netflix. However, we are in Bali. Stargazing is now our nightly activity. The display of glittering stars at night is just breathtaking. We thank God for our eyes to see this wonder because the camera just can't capture the beauty. Come to Bali and see it for yourselves.